This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School. And today we're going to go over using a toner receiver unit and how we can check our solenoid at the valve box, so at the valve. Okay, so looking at this, this toner, this is the 24B Station Master Pro, we have a, three different switches we can use on this. We have solenoid activate, which will actually turn or send power to my solenoid and it'll give me a light indicating a short if it's good, um, if it's an open circuit. So that, that's really handy. We'll use this a lot in the field, a very handy tool. Also, I could send tone. So when it does, it sends a frequency down the leads. These are my two leads here. And it'll pick up on my receiver the frequency. So it gives me a tone and we'll, we'll go over that. So I can identify wires, things like that. And in that mode, in the off position, I could do a clock test. I'll go over that when we do our clock uh, inspection and our clock troubleshooting. So to check the solenoid, I take the wire nut off. I have my two wires coming out of my solenoid. Get my clamps on my leads. I hook up to the wiring. And, and you want to touch metal on the wire right there. You just don't, don't want to clamp it. Sometimes you won't get the full effect. So to check this, all I do is click it over. You can hear my solenoid activated. We're looking here. I got my green lights on. It means the solenoid's good. So if I had an issue in the field and it wasn't coming on, I could go here, do my check, and I know my solenoid is good. Another feature we have is the chatter. So that's a switch on top. So what you can hear is on and off the chatter. So this is really, really good if I'm at the clock and I'm sending this down to in the field because my valve is going to be going on, off, on, off. And I can hear it, so I know listening to it. So in the send tone mode, what I'll do is so as you can see, as the closer I get. So I'm identifying the frequency that my receiver is sending down my leads and coming back. So I know when I do that, that that's where, that I do have a frequency there. So as far as using this toner and receiver in the field at the valve, that's a quick little tip from Irrigator Technical Training School, and I'll catch you on the next one.